Today we're here for the Pilot Sport All Season 3. It's our newest ultra high performance all season tire. We've got 24 different advisors for Auto Week coming in. Today, this is your proving grounds to test our tires against the best of the competition. We've got eight cars to use. We've got four different track venues set up, wet, dry, braking, different conditions. And we've got a variety of competitor tires to let you test against. An all-season tire is, is a tire that literally you'd be able to drive it year-round in normal conditions. We have found that by adding Helio compound, which is the Michelin trademark name for a sunflower oil. It takes that operating range of the compound and it lowers the temperature in which it's still very flexible and pliable. So one of the technologies that's, that's included in the Pilot Square All Season 3 that you're going to feel out here on the wet course is what we call extreme silica. It is uh, a, an extreme level or amount of silica that we've included in the tread compound. And I think you'll notice a very high level of wet grip out here in the autocross course. This tire is asymmetric, it is not directional. There is a bit of truth that a, that a properly oriented directional pattern will help evacuate water. However, the majority of water is evacuated through the longitudinal grooves of a tire in the front and back of the contact pad. Actually, very little is forced out the shoulder. In general, sipe is just a cut in the tread block. The downside of a sipe is the more flexible it gets, the more it hurts your steering response. If you can imagine you're steering the tire, but you've got all this squishiness in the tread blocks because you've got all these sipes. Michelin has kind of overcome that with a variable thickness sipe. It's a slit that, that starts at one thickness and then becomes wider and then narrower and then wider and narrower. The best analogy there, it's like a tongue and groove flooring system. When you start to force it in one direction, it locks together. You retain that rigidity of the tread block. I've got a uh, Mustang and I do change my tires out. I've got some uh, all season tires um, and then I changed it out for summer tires at one point and then I've got dedicated winter tires as well. I'd rather just have one set of tires and just use them all year round and so now they've got me thinking about some all season tires. I typically change, the, change my tires or I have in the past. Uh, I'd be interested in, in possibly not doing that when I get another car, not having to buy another set of uh, set of tires. When you have summer tires and you, you can't get them out below a certain temperature because the car will just, it's almost uncontrollable, let alone what damage you're going to do to the tire. So that was one of the questions I actually asked is how do they do it? I, I don't like to switch out the winter and the winter and summer and all of that. It makes it more cumbersome, nowhere to store them, that sort of thing. Our all season tire can compete with our competitors' summer offerings in a dry condition in a summer day like today. For you guys who know how big of a claim that is, that's, that's touting a lot, and that's something we truly believe that we have. 